Hey everyone, Daredevil Cruz here. Um, this is a pickup flea market eBay lot and trade video. Um, first off, I want to start with um, the eBay lot I got last week. It's basically nothing but uh, Sega Genesis manuals, and um, I was able to get a couple of manuals that I needed for my uh, certain games like uh, Toe Jam and Earl, and um, someone came with uh, posters. So I was very fortunate to get that. Um, I'll do a quick run through to show you what I got. Um, in total, this costed me twenty-four dollars, and um, it came with, like I said, some great manuals that I needed for my uh, my one of my uh, games that you know, like Toll Jam and um, some Earthworm Jam ones. But um, I'll I'll do a quick run through with them so you can see what I got real quick. Uh, first off, it's a Sonic One. And columns manuals, the color edition. I also got a black and white edition. Um, I got a tailspin. Actually, I, I have the case for this. Um, I just put it to the side for a moment. A Earthworm Jam, um, NBA Jam. Uh, some of these I don't need. If you do need them, hit me up with the PM. Maybe we can negotiate with deal. Uh, I might need to lose game because. Um, I not only got some manuals, but I also got empty boxes, and you're going to see what I got. Um, uh, Monsters, King of Monsters, pretty good uh, booklet, in condition. A Miss Pac-Man, black and white, I don't need. I'm going to put the ones on the right that I don't uh, I don't need, and if you need one, just let me know. Um, Sonic the Hedgehog. Um, this one I do need, because I got the game today from Mr. Splendid. I'm about to show that as well. Uh, Mario Lemieux Hockey, um, TNM Bass Tournament Champions, uh, Football 94, Jammit, uh, NBA Hang Time, and try to see if we can get the other ones. There were about 35 manuals in total, and some of them are, you know, kind of rare, so I'm probably going to keep most of them. But not like this one. A Monopoly Black and White. Uh, another NBA Jam manual. I got a Rise Star manual. Well, I'm keeping that one. <laughs> a Decapitat. I might keep that one. Um, I don't need this one. This is the Lost Vikings. I already have the game with the manual. Um, Ferrari Grand Prix. Um, I have an extra box of the crew ball with the manual, so that might be up for trade, just the box. Earthworm Jam, I'm keeping that. Um, Goofy's Historical Tour, keeping that. Another Jammit, a College Football 97, Tonic 2, Subterranean, I might keep that. Um, an X-Men booklet, Tom and Lasorda, I'm just going to run through them now. Triple Play, another Hang Time. A Spinball, uh, NHL, uh, Virtual Racing, Batman Forever, Jungle Book, um, it's mostly sports games. Every now and then I have a good one like a Jungle Book right there. I have a color and a black and white. Um, a Road Rash 2, some racing one and another Sonic. So overall, this cost me about twenty-four dollars. It's about thirty-five manuals in all, and some more were great ones. So you know, uh, even though it's a bit much for manuals, um, I had to snag that uh, opportunity. The next one, uh, these are just empty boxes, and I basically got them so I can get the Nintendo Rewards coins. And these are from the dumpster dives. So I just haven't been able to show them to you. They are complete. Come with the manual and the points, which I was real happy to get. Um, I got the super, new Super Mario Bros. in mint condition. Uh, Monster Tales, I don't know. Uh, Mario 64, it does come with the manual. The Donkey Kong Jungle Climber with the manual. This is actually my third Grand Theft Auto box, complete with the map. Um, so that's basically my dumpster dive for this week. Um, and I also bought a lot of empty boxes, and a lot of the boxes were in bad condition. So what I did is just basically 
um, got all the crappy boxes out of the way and took out the inserts. And some of these inserts are, you know, from pretty good games or just rare games. I just like the the whole look of the Genesis um, scheme because they actually took the time to make the, I guess, the front look real awesome, and that's why I like it. I got a bunch of them. I got this one, Grindstormer, uh, Mortal Kombat, um, WWF, Rumble, uh, Sonic 1, Sonic 2, Mortal Kombat 3, another Grand Prix, Mortal Kombat 2, George Foreman. Uh, it's a bunch of just um, loose uh, artworks. And um, if you never need any of these, like I, guess, like I said, just... Uh, Hit me up with the PM and we can probably negotiate for something. Um, other than that, that's all in the manual. So you can see it's a pretty much an extensive uh, list of manuals. Um, this I got yesterday at a fleet, not fleet market, a pawn shop. Um, they actually had a Sega Master with 14 games for $120. And honestly, I'm not a, a Sega Master guy. Um, I'll just collect the games that I owned or the systems that I originally owned which was a Sega was which which was my first system and I was very happy to get that um, but I was also a PS1 collector as you can see from the purchases I managed to get the um, Odd World complete black label for uh, five dollars four ninety nine next up I got Alone in the Dark with the um, manuals, the two discs, and let's see, yeah, manuals. It, it is complete. I, the case is kind of it has a crack right there, but I also got it for five dollars. Um, I'm not sure how rare this game is or anything like that, so I just got it because I liked it. You know, somewhat cheap. And I also managed to get Gyromite, and I think it's the the one with the pin connector because it is. Uh, kind of heavy has the five screws as you can see um, it's not in the greatest condition but it does seem a little heavy so I'm sure it's gonna be the one with the pin connector um, this might be up for trade I, I don't know yet but um, let me know if you need it again most of the stuff that I will trade will be either a loose game for the boxes that I have right now that are about to show um, or a box complete game for Genesis so uh, let me know what you have and uh, we'll go from there so, so far I got uh, Lone Dark, uh, Odd World, and Gyromite, and two loose Genesis games, which was Strider. Um, it is somewhat in mint condition, it just has a stupid P on the, on the front of the label. I can get that out with the Magic Razor. And Beyond Oasis, to be honest, I'm not sure whether this is an RPG or whatever, but um, I'm, you know, went ahead and got it. Um, next up is um, a complete Wacky World Creative Studio for the Genesis. This is basically what I'm assuming is the Sega version of um, what is it, Mario Paint. It comes with the mouse, mouse pad, game, and artwork. Which I, I to be honest, I never even realized that this was even out there. Um, it is the original mouse. Um, I got this from Amazon for 29 bucks, um, and the stuff that I got coming this week is just gonna be amazing. I I managed to get a Punisher game complete from eBay from a guy. I just happened to email him and text. Well, I just told him if I can buy um, one, well the game that he had for 22 dollars shipped, and he agreed. So I managed to get that. Uh, he's gonna be shipping it on Monday. Uh, I got a second Sunset Riders because the one I got, I sold. Um, I also uh, bought another TMNT Hyperstone Heist. So the one I got now, I'm probably going to trade or sell. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm basically trying to get mint condition games or complete games. And this is one of the complete ones. And I haven't seen anybody with the complete Wacky Worlds. Uh, which I didn't even know it came like this. So there's the mouse pad, the mouse, the game. Uh... And the box. The box is not in great shape, but it does come with the box in general, so I'm happy I got everything. So this is one of the rare Genesis games that I didn't even know existed. So I got this for $29 off of Amazon, which I'm already <laughs> almost going to max that out. I shouldn't even be buying so much stuff. Um, but next up, I got a, 
an eBay lot of 42 boxes. Like I said, some of these boxes were in bad shape. That's why I got so many uh, um, manuals and uh, artworks uh, loose. And they came from the boxes. So uh, these are the ones that I managed to um, save. So I'm going to be looking for the, the loose games of these games. If you happen to have a loose copy and you want to trade with me for a manual, these are the games that I need. Uh, just let me know what you have. Uh, first up is um, World Series Baseball 95. Um, it's not complete, but I just need the game. If I have the game in the box, that's you know that'll be okay with me. Um, second is X Men 2. Um, the box is not in great of shape, but um, it's still you know the original box, and I, I think I got the the manual for that. So I'm looking for X Men 2. If you ever lose, let me know. Next up is Separation Anxiety. This is one of the boxes that was in mint condition. It does come with the manual, so I was very happy to that you know to get that. So I'm looking for this game also. Next box that I have is Super Off Road. Um, the box is not in bad shape. Um, it's one of the original cardboard ones, in which I really don't like. So I'll, I'll be looking for that. Next one is uh, Air Buster. Again, I just need the game. It's just a box, no manual. Next some that I got was Last Action Hero. It did come complete, except the game. So, uh, um, if you have, you know, like a loose copy, let me know. Next up is Paperboard 2. Need the manual and the game. <laughs> uh, next up is uh, Mortal Kombat 2. Um, I do need the game for this and the manual. Uh, the other one is uh, Spider-Man X-Men. The box is in mink, well, somewhat mint condition. Need the game for that. Next up is Lemmings. Never played this game. Next up is the Hunting of Starving Poltergeist. Uh, I just like the box art. It's pretty cool. Um, a stupid sports game. Bulls vs. Lakers. Next up, mint condition box, sort of. Uh, Captain America and the Avengers. Um... Just need the game for this. I'm just probably buy it on eBay. But if you have it, let me know. Uh, next up is Shadow of the Beast. Complete. Risky Woods. Complete. Minus the game. I need the second Lethal Enforcers. The, um, it's just me in the manual. And uh, World Series Baseball. So, if any of y'all have any of these games and you want a manual... Or something, just again, let me know. I'm good for trades. Um, and the next thing I'm about to show is Mr. Spundy 08 uh, trade package. As you can see, I traded with him a 